So that's where you want it. Oh, this is actually so surreal. I cannot believe this is happening right now. <laughs> Okay, Brooklyn and I said we would get tattoos, matching tattoos, if we hit our $200,000 goal on our RV trip. Two rays from a period of awards. We said we would get matching tattoos if we reached $200,000 in money for period poverty. And y'all did not disappoint, which means Brooklyn and I now have to get freaking matching tattoos. We have absolutely no ideas as to what we're gonna get. So am I currently looking on Pinterest? The answer is yes, I am. Y'all, there are so freaking many ideas. How are we even supposed to decide? OMG. Okay, while trying to brainstorm ideas, I posted a story asking y'all for ideas. Some of y'all are mean. Girl, I am not post putting a freaking tattoo of a tampon on my body. As much as I love the meaning of that, I am not tattooing a tampon to my body. I am sorry. It's gonna be something that means something to Brooklyn and I. It's not gonna be a tampon, but uh, it's gonna be something that means something to us, and that's what matters. You know how we have to get tattoos. We have been doing so much research over the last couple of weeks, and I think Brooklyn and I have found one that we want to get that's matching. Okay, so Ace is editing it. He's photoshopping the tattoo in the place that I want it to be. Because I wanted to make sure I liked the font. I wanted to make sure I liked the size. I wanted to make sure I went in with all of those things in mind that I just like knew exactly what I was gonna do. Cause you know, I'm a planner. I need everything planned. Oh, he's helping me out. I am so excited to see it. I can't wait. Today's the day. We get freaking tattoos today. To say I am nervous is an understatement. Usually I'm the first one to throw my in, you know, a crazy situation. But I am just having commitment issues with the tattoo. The most difficult part that no one tells you about, at least for me, is figuring out where I want the tattoo. That has been a struggle for me, specifically. So whenever I walk into the parlor today, it's gonna be a complete shock where that tattoo ends up on my body. So we have T minus one hour till we go get our tattoos. I still don't know where to get my tattoo. She's thinking right here, I think. I don't know. And I'm thinking right here. But I know everyone's been telling me that has tattoos that this hurts bad. We are on our way to the appointment. It is currently raining outside. I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. I'm like, wait a second, this is permanently on my body. On our way, here we come. I am. Nothing like a good old sister FaceTime to boost your spirits for a tattoo, right, Brooklyn? Okay, we just got there. I'm so nervous. Are you nervous? Okay, I was telling everyone earlier, I'm usually the one that just like throws myself into situations and like thinks later. But this is one of those situations where I'm like, the good thing is, is that we had y'all recommend tattoo parlors and this place is so stinking cute. It's called Lilac Tattoo Studio. It's a black owned and female run tattoo parlor that y'all recommended to us in Dallas. I did a bunch of research and seriously, their artists are freaking good. At least there's that, Brooklyn. At least there's that. <laughs> Okay, you guys, look at how cute it is in here. And this is the artist Dom. She's gonna be doing our tattoos. Brooklyn and I are freaking out, just a little. <laughs> so she just cut out a whole bunch of different sizes for us to look at and decide which size we like. I'm not getting too close because I don't want y'all to know what it is yet, but I'm gonna go look. So that's where you want it. Oh, this is actually so surreal. I cannot believe this is happening right now. <laughs> Brooklyn's debating. They're literally like one centimeter different. Just get the bigger one. I did the bigger one. <laughs> the stencil. Okay. And we're just testing now to see if I like the placement of it or not. Yeah, I'm just about to take a nap. That's all. This feels like a dream. Yeah, it does. It feels like a dream. It doesn't feel real. We're doing this for you guys. Go okay, ahead. so we are about to get started and the power <laughs> totally went out. But uh, they said the, the tattoo things are wireless, so that shouldn't be a problem if it happens again. And you changed 
the depth of how deep it can go into your skin. Oh. Tender. Tender, tender. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, it's definitely tickling my foot right now. Ooh. Oh, that's so funny. Ooh, yeah, half way. It's only been five minutes. You're killing it. You got it. Can you imagine being here for three hours? No, that. <laughs> That okay, Bailey's only got four more letters and she's literally killing it. It's been like five minutes and she's doing fine. She's doing fine. Oh, mother of girl! Alright, Brooklyn, how are you, how are you feeling? The end. She's got this. Yeah. That's it. Okay, let's write you down. That's it. You're done? I love it! Yay, Seriously! So are you kidding me right now? Oh! Get this paper towel. <laughs> not bad at all. Dude, I could hug you. This looks so good. Yeah, I'm super glad. Thank you. So um, I'm gonna put it on. Oh, <laughs> Don't like girls that have tattoos. <laughs> Take me off the roster. Alright, Brooklyn's turn. Dakota's over here fussing. I feel like I'm getting a tattoo. A little mother hen. <laughs> Are you worried? How you feeling? Are you stressed? I can't for her? believe I'm feeling it. Are you excited, Brooklyn? I'm excited. You excited? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Brooklyn? Oh, this isn't that bad. This feels like micro needling. <laughs> <laughs> Struck something a little bit. Yeah, there. that was a little twingy. <laughs> Perfect. It's just dainty and kind of out of the way. It's so I cute. love it. All Let done. Me see. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. I like how you're smiling like this. And I'm like, how do you how do you like <laughs> fuck it straight? Like, ayo, ayo. Officially tatted. It's official. Tatted. I got my tattoo. <laughs> and number two, what it means to us. So it says, to whatever end. And um, you guys know Bailey and I are huge readers. Like we absolutely love reading. We have loved reading for years and our favorite series has stayed the same for the last, I wanna say seven to eight years. Yeah, it's been a handful of years. And in the books, they actually, whenever the characters go through something hard together, they say, like, we'll stick it out together to, to whatever, whatever end. So, we both felt like that was very personal to us, our favorite quote. And we both got it matching. We got the, we got the colors matching the font and the placement is different. We felt like we needed our own styles, but like the same quote. Yay! Okay, of course. Traditional, we had to go to BJ's to celebrate. To celebrate. So, Kazuki's, here we go. And salmon. And salmon. <laughs> way to celebrate right here. Okay, we pulled up to my parents' house because we want to go show them the tattoos and get their reaction. So let's see what they say. Gotta go. Cute. And then mine. Cute. Nice little tattoo. Cute. You can really you got yours more like tight font. Yeah, I wanted yeah, it to be more tight. Way more subtle than the... Was it, did it hurt? It didn't hurt that bad. Bye. But it hurt a little. Bye. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> like it? Yeah. It's in a different font. Yeah, it's in a different font than Brooklyn. I like that one better. <laughs> Thanks, Jax. <laughs> All right. Super crazy day. This day has been insane. insane. We, get, we got to go over to my parents and show them our uh, tattoos, show everyone our tattoos, um, and now we are finally home for the night. Update on the tattoos. They don't hurt. I kind of forgot I was there for a minute. I literally have already forgotten that I have one. I know. So and I literally have one. So, so that's it, guys. That's the that's the tea. And of course, to round out the video, we are going to finish our donations and donate the last portion of how many subscribers we got. So we'll put a little clip of us donating that in here. And that's really the last last bit of our donation Thanks RV trip. Thanks for making this possible, you guys. $200,000 and we got to get some tattoos. Woo! Woo! All right, y'all, I am about to donate the final amount to Alliance for Period Products. Kind of round out our trip. Obviously, you guys are amazing and we gained about 60,000 subscribers, which is incredible. And I know originally we were messaging that we were only gonna donate one 
cent per subscriber. We decided to change it up a little bit at the end and we are going to donate 10 cents per subscriber. So we're donating right around $6,000 to kind of finish out the project. Um, and so we're super excited. This is kind of like the last hurrah. So let's do this thing.